Hi, we're here again to learn a little more about science. I'm here with my daughter, and my son is off camera, he's watching. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do now is, uh, a friend of mine recommended that we could do a video on how to make a battery out of a, a potato, or a lemon, or something like that. So I thought that we would do something even easier. Yes, I know, isn't that wacky? Okay, so I figured we could do something, you know, a, a little less conventional, um, just that, you know, every science fair project does, you know, like the potato clock or something. Uh, <laughs> when you get a little older and do science fairs and stuff, you'll see. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a battery using salt water and some wire and little uh, pieces of metal and stuff. And then we'll test it and see what the voltage is. And then we're going to ramp it up a little bit and make a few multiple batteries all in a row and hopefully have enough power using those batteries to light up a little LED. So in the last video we had um, a little game that you had made at uh, Wentworth uh, doing the, uh, what was the name of the program? It was with the Girl Scouts. It's like, I don't know, Science Fair Day or something. Uh, but she learned about electricity and you can, uh, circuits, and you can check out our, our other video about that. But anyway, so, do you know what electricity is? Mm. It is perfectly fine to say, no, I don't. No, not really. Okay. Electricity is just the flow of electrons. Okay. Do you know what an atom is? It's what's made of everything. Right. Everything's made up of atoms and molecules and all of that. Okay. There are little tiny atoms are made up and molecules are made up of little even smaller things called electrons, protons, and neutrons. Okay. So they have like positive charge and negative charge and uh, a neutral charge, which is no charge at all. So those are the three um, things that make up everything. Okay. So... A battery is just a way that we can sort of force electrons to move a certain way that we want them to move. Okay, so what we have here is just a nice little uh, hot cocoa mug. A little hot cocoa mug. You have goober on you, a piece of sparkle. Yeah. My dad is so amazing, she just glitters piece of glitter, probably from art at school. Anyway, um, salt water, and I fashioned these little thingies. Okay, what it is, is this is copper wire at the end. Mm -hmm. Can you see the color? It's copper. Okay, and then these are made out of zinc. So it's two different types of metal. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the copper. Okay, can you hold this? just by the, um, yes, we don't want to touch the metal, okay, right. uh, because we don't want to interfere with anything, okay, so we have, the copper is in the salt water, okay, now I'm going to put the zinc into the salt water, okay, so now what we're going to have is the salt water is allowing the electrons from one of the metals to travel to the other metal. Okay, so since the electrons are moving, then we have now created what? A circuit. Well, we've created electricity, right? Okay, because electricity is just electrons moving. Okay, so I'm going to touch the two metal, okay, the copper and the zinc. Okay, and then you tell me, uh, you know, we'll do it this way, because the, the zinc is the positive. Okay, so what readout do we have? I know it jumps around, but what's like the highest readout? 77. 77? Yeah. Okay, 0. .77, right? So we have three quarters of a volt of electricity just out of the salt water. Mm -hmm. Isn't that kind of neat? 
three quarters of a volt. So, do you know a little tiny AA battery or AAA battery? How many volts are those? 1.5, okay? So we've just created 0.75 volts. So that's half of a AA battery. So that's pretty neat, huh? Okay, just out of some metal and some salt water. So now what we're going to do, okay, if you took, say, a 9-volt battery, okay, and... If you took a 9 volt, I mean a um, AA battery, 1.5 volts, okay, and put two of them together into like a toy or something, how many volts do you have? If one of them is 1.5, and if you had two of them, how many would you have? How many volts would you have? 2.10? Um, yes, or 3, right? Well, 1.5 and 1.5 is 2. 0.5 and 0.5 is? 10. Right, another volt. So 3 volts. Right? Right? If you had a dollar fifty, in a dollar fifty, how much do you have in total? 3. 3 dollars, exactly. So 1.5, 1.5, 3 volts. Okay. So what we're going to do is use this ice cube tray. Okay, and what I did was I took the little things that I made here with the copper wire on one side attached to the zinc bolt on the other side. Okay, and I have it going across one, two, three, four, five, six little um, compartments of the ice cube tray. Okay, so they are going to all add up, okay? So if we have 0.75 in one of them, right? Okay, if we have 0.75 in one of them, in two of them, we're going to have 1.5 volts, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how about if we utilize Max's uh, Math abilities. Oh no. <laughs> so Max. Yeah. If I if we have 0.75 volts, okay, in one of them, and we now have six of them, how many volts are we gonna have all together? Um, and while you figure that out, if you need paper or something to do it, <laughs> I'm just filling this up with salt water. So the way that I have this set up is I have, like I said, six of these filled up with salt water, okay? And they're all separated, of course, by the plastic, right? You know, that's how an ice cube tray works, so you don't have one gigantic ice cube. Okay, and then I have the little wires set up. Okay, can you take a look and tell me how it looks like I have the wires set up? So one wire is connected to the other one, and it goes there. Okay, so one wire is connected to the other one, yes. But do you notice how I have it set up so that the copper is in this one, mm -hmm. the zinc, it connects to the zinc in this one. Then the copper on the other side connects to the zinc in the next one. The copper to the zinc, the copper to the zinc, the copper to the zinc. Why isn't there any okay. copper? So I have, so I have it. I have each battery going copper to zinc, copper to zinc, copper to zinc, copper to zinc, copper to zinc. So they're all right in a row. Why isn't? It okay, that's done? called in series. Okay. Well, if we connected those, then it would complete the circuit. Circuit. Okay. So I think Max has an answer. Yeah. Okay, so if we have six batteries, mm -hmm. and each battery is 0.75 volts, mm -hmm. how many volts do we have in total? 4.5 volts. 4.5 volts, is that right? 3, 4.5, I think it is. 1, 2, 3, 4.5, yes. So 4.5 volts. Okay, so are you ready to test it? Boink. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh,
turn this on, okay, and here. Watch that, and let's see. Now, of course, the amount of salt in the water makes a difference. Mm -hmm. All of these things will change, okay. So we might not have exactly 4.5 volts, okay. But our is guess is that it's going to be kind of close. I don't know. No, it's fine. Okay, so are you ready? So what does it look like? Three four. Three, three point, point four. one four. So three point one four volts. So we have more than three volts. Okay. So let's see if we can light up this. Okay. Are you ready? Three point four. Three point one four volts. I don't know if that's enough to light it up. Did you see it? What did it do? It lit up. It lit up. Dad, Dad. So, can you see that on camera? It lit up. It lit up. Max, can you turn off the light? Sure. Then it'll then it'll definitely show. Okay. So there it is. So if I pull it out, okay. If I pull it out, then it has not connected the circuit. Right? As soon as I put it in, it, it connects the circuit and lights up. So, you know what we could do? We could power your game with this. But the only problem is, you know, I don't know if we want to stick this into the salt water and stuff. We would have to get two separate wires. But it lights up. Okay? So now what happens if I take one of these out? Right. So what will happen to the LED? It will... I'll pull this one out. It looks like easy. Like. Okay. And what happens if I turn the LED around? It won't come with the circuit? No, it will. So it will. No. No, it won't. won't. What? Why won't it? Because an LED is a light-emitting diode. Uh. And do you remember what a diode does? It conducts electricity only one way one way so now we have it going the opposite way so it won't connect it won't complete the circuit it won't light up but like that bam so we lit an LED using salt water a little bit of wire and some bolts <laughs> all because of the Girl Scouts and Wentworth Institute of Technology in Boston so Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, you can turn the light on. Thank you. So, this is a fun experiment that you can definitely try at home. Can we try the potato now? We're not going to try the potato. <laughs> this was enough. But thanks for watching. Have a